Hello everyone and welcome back to another Roblox video and today we're in Roblox Epic Minigames. In my previous video, I gone through 29 out of the 30 eggs as part of the NPC Easter Bunny quests for Epic Minigames' Easter Update 2024. And in that video, I stated that the last egg kind of deserves its own video because there are a lot of steps leading to obtaining it. And it will take time for many of y'all. So in this video, I'm going to go into fine detail of how to obtain this last egg if you're interested. Now, what do you get if you get this last egg? I mean, in the video, I didn't say it's mandatory to get. It's completely optional. You pretty much completed all the NPC quests. I mean, show further proof. I cannot even conversate with this NPC here. And he doesn't even provide hints or tips of how to get this last egg. So it's not required. But you do get a reward for getting this last egg. Number one, you get this epic egg pet, which I'll show you on my screen. I've done the entire event on my main already, which is why I'm doing it on my alt, just like how I did on my previous video, though the steps will still be the same for everyone. So yes, you do get the epic egg pet as well as this limited time badge as well. Now this will not pop up in your badge inventory when the event ends. But you get to have it in your Roblox inventory even when the event is over and it requires you to get all 30 eggs. Uh, so yeah, those are the only two things you will really get. And uh, let's get right into it. So, first, before you get to the last egg, you must have completed all the other eggs. Meaning you have to go through all the NBC quests in order to get access to the last egg. Now, if you're struggling on that, I highly recommend watching my tutorial video for the NBC quests of the Easter 2024 updates. Once you've done all of that, then we are here. So follow where I go to show you how to get this last egg. First off, you want this gear equipped. Then follow where I go towards to the metal egg. Now this is not totally necessary to do, but basically when you hit this giant metal egg, which is next to this lighthouse in the lobby, Basically, it shows you how many lights around the lobby are green and red. Now, what lights am I talking about? Well, if you look around the lobby, there are six egg lights. For example, there's one right here that's lit green. And basically, you want to turn all of these lanterns green. So for example, that red one over there, we want to turn that into green. The thing is, if you adjust one of these lights individually, it will impact the others. So for example, if I try to turn this green, uh, maybe that lantern that we just saw first thing might turn to red. So you're gonna have to go walk around the lobby back and forth to really adjust, kind of study which lanterns affect each other. But uh, yeah, you want all of them lit up green. There is no little puzzle where like, oh, if the egg says, okay, this lantern turns green, this one turns red, this one turns green, this one turns red, it's not like that. All you have to do is turn all of these lanterns green. So it may take time for some of y'all. Uh, make sure you're AFK in the lobby so you can not teleport back and forth between minigames. Um, I'm gonna take a couple of minutes to do this, but uh, I'll be free to uh, record this entire thing. Actually, if you're wondering where all the six lanterns are, the first one is next to the secret room which is in between these rocks. The second one is well over there next to that giant carrot on the shoreline. The third one is next to this pathway just right here. The fourth one is next to the leaderboard building on the right. The fifth one is next to this giant carrot. It's kind of close to the leaderboard. It's just sitting over there. And the sixth one is over there behind the epic party spawn board. Now picture them as like in a hexagon pattern around the lobby. So that's where the egg kind of displays which lights are red and which ones are green. Uh, they're kind of placed in a hexagonal pattern around the lobby. Anyways, enough yapping, I'm gonna go and try to turn on these lights green. Okay, I think already I just turned all of them uh, green. And by the way, you can do this in a public or private server, but I recommend doing it in a private server to avoid some commotion from randoms. So once you turn all the lanterns green, if you actually checked around, go back to the giant metal egg, equip your hammer, and hit it to see if you've done if all the lanterns are lit green as you can see all six lanterns have lit green and the egg has transformed now this will turn into one of those eggs from like what ready player one your next task is to hit this egg again with a hammer 
and an obstacle course will be spawning in the lobby. Now be careful because these red platforms will fade once you step onto them. So uh, if you fail, I think you'll be given another chance. But I'm gonna try and do this in one shot regardless to keep it safe. So you can see right behind me, the platforms are fading away. You kind of want to be quick and uh, yeah. The obby isn't too hard in my opinion, but I get it for like certain mobile users or some people who are not a master at obbies. It can be a little challenging, but yep. Yeah. These platforms are really spaced out. I don't consider myself a professional hobbyist. But you'll be going really high in the obby, and there you go. Um, once you get to the end of the obby, you will collect this key. And uh, since this egg has a, a keyhole, um, you just kind of want to put a key in there. And it will transform to another egg. So make your way back to that specific egg. And as you can see, it has turned into its third form. And there is an epic egg inside, which, yes... That is what the final egg is called. It is called the Epic Egg. But we got one more step, and I may need to just pause my recording to do this, since my memory is like a goldfish. So basically, when you hit this egg, it's kind of like Simon. You gotta follow what the patterns are. For example, the first one was red, and this one was like blue, I think. You kind of go through this pattern, and if you fail once, you gotta do it all over again. But the pattern remains the same for you. Now please note that this pattern is different for everyone. So whatever like, oh, this player got red, blue, blue, green, blue, red, pink, yada, yada, yada. It's different for everyone, guys. So whatever pattern uh, your friends are sharing to you, like, hey, so this is the code for this. That's not true. Unless miraculously you guys somehow have the same pattern. So I'm going to go and uh, use my recording software to capture the pattern since my my memory is just, it's too bad. Oh, by the way, if you want to enter in the pattern, all you gotta do is hit them with your hammer, like so, if it lets you. And uh, yeah, just be careful when hammering. You don't want to spam click to try and hit it because you might accidentally click on it twice, and therefore you mess up on the pattern and you have to do it all over again. So I'll be back once I redeem this pattern. Alright, so I'm about to hit the final egg for the pattern. And once you got all of them correct, then this should happen. That final form egg will disappear, and voila, the epic egg lies in front of you. So again, I recommend using recording software if you're on PC to kind of like memorize it, or on mobile if that's even possible for you guys. Unless you guys actually have really good memory, then this is probably very easy for you. Anyways, once you've done all of that, you can finally collect the epic egg, as well as the badge shown in the bottom right. Collection complete. You also be awarded with the epic egg pet. So let's go and equip that right now in our inventory. Here it is, right here. I got the shopaholic badge. Uh, that's nice. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, it animates, has a visual effect, and it makes the same sound as this bunny pet shown in the screen here. But unfortunately, my alt does not have it. Oh, it is. Never mind. It's just in the pet shop for five thousand coins. You know what? I'm gonna buy for the heck of it. There we go. ZC has the same animation and it makes the same sound as well. And that is it of how to get the Epic Egg, aka the final egg in Epic Mini Games' uh, Easter event. And pretty much you completed the entire event. I mean, you can go for some grinding coins to get all of the limited time Easter shop items. And then you're good to go. If you have any questions or concerns about this final egg, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to reply ASAP while the event goes live. Thank you guys for watching, and if you find this tutorial very informational, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace.